In everyone's lifetime, there are obstacles that will stand in their way. It's how you deal with them and make the best out of them that separates the average person from the great person. When I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and I thought it was kind of a death sentence. I didn't know much about it. It was really hard on myself and my family. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to play soccer again. I just figured I'd be spending most of my time in the hospital. But since then, I've learned to live with it and overcome the disease. I mean, I still have it, but um, it's easier to live with now. Someone who went through a lot in their lifetime and overcame a lot is Mia Hamm. And that's why I think she's inspirational, and she's inspirational for three reasons. Um, one, she promotes charity. Two, she promotes women's soccer. She's always involved in young girls' life, you know, boosting confidence and getting them to exercise and then getting them involved. And three, she promotes never giving up. Okay, back to my first reason of promote, how she promotes charity. Um, she started a foundation called the Mia Ham Foundation. It's kind of in memory of her brother. Her brother, she was really close to her brother, it's what got her into sports. He was very athletic. Um, but he died soon after she won the Olympic gold medal um, from a rare blood disease. And it was kind of, so her foundation is basically support to families and to raise money for um, blood don donations and research. And it, it's to help people, you know, awareness of the disease. And she also started this celebrity soccer match, which takes place in California. And a lot of big name celebrities um, get involved in this. And basically, they just all get in one area and they play a game of soccer to raise awareness of the disease. And I guess they get 300 new donors like each match. So that was cool. And for my second reason, um, she promotes women's soccer. So she's the youngest player to play on the women's national team. And when she started out playing, there wasn't really any publicity for women's soccer, and no one, actually women's sports in general. So she, um, she wanted to see people getting more involved. So um, how she did that actually is there was one match in particular. It was, they were playing at the Rose Bowl, and no one thought anyone would show up. So she challenged that, and she went up to a reporter and said, the stadium is going to be, it's going to be filled with people. and. So no one believed her, and actually the game was sold out, and everyone came, and it's like the most attendance of a women's sport. It was like 90,000 people or something. And another way she promotes women's soccer is by running a girls' camp for youth soccer players. Um, and this promotes the game of soccer, and it helps girls be more confident on and off the field. So it's not all about soccer. It's about, um, you know, being confident outside as well. And for my last reason, Pam promotes never giving up. You know, many things in her life could have stopped her. She was born with a clubbed foot and she had to get surgery. So that could have stopped her from playing soccer, but she persevered. Um, also, she moved around the, around the world a lot as a kid. She lived in Texas, Italy, um, New Jersey. She moved everywhere. And a quote from Pam was that the hardest thing wasn't the actual move, it was when she went out to play soccer and join new teams, it was on regaining the respect of her teammates. Um, and then her brother Garrett dying could have also stopped her and she could have quit after he died to you know be with her family, but she kept playing for him and for herself. So Ham is inspirational to me for three reasons. Um, she promotes charity, she promotes women's soccer, and she promotes never giving up. So in conclusion, everyone has to overcome something in their lifetime. It's how you handle it and is what separates the average from the